Mike received is, is among other things, a work in stand-up comic. And he was telling me about Dave Smith, uh, who is, is somebody I actually know very well from arguing with him about politics, uh, who is also a, uh, a stand-up comic. Uh, and, uh, and he's, you know, he's a libertarian. I've, I, I did a debate, I had two debates with him and I was on his show for, you know, for a couple other reasons, at different points. And, you know, I, th- I think he's like a pretty, you know, he's a pretty good faith guy. He's wrong about tons of stuff, you know, but like he, uh, but, you know, but he's, he's, he's wrong, you know, in a pretty, in a pretty earnest way. Uh, and, you know, I'd like, he's, he's, he's good on endless wars and, you know, prison industrial complex and stuff like that. He's very, very bad on all the things that you'd expect him to be very bad about, you know, he's a libertarian. Uh, but, uh, what Mike told me uh, when I, when I lunched them in New York was that there were people who were uh, who'd been protesting uh, Dave's uh, stand-up comedy shows, uh, you know, because uh, because they decided uh, that he was a fascist. So uh, I think we have a short clip of this. Well, they uh, they got oh, there at uh, I think an hour and a half before the show. No shit. They were really. They were sitting like, there. We're showing up when doors open. <laughs> was anybody uh, able to get like in your like space? No. I was. I was gonna say my. I. I suggested to Rob, and and he was probably right. Probably the cooler head prevailed on this. Huh. But I said I'm gonna go talk to him. Like I'm gonna walk up and just like be like, oh, guys, Dave, what that wouldn't. Have Dave, but, uh, Dave. but then Rob goes, dude, someone's gonna throw something at you, and you're gonna attack that person, so and then it's away. gonna be a whole thing. And I was like, you know what? That is exactly how it was gonna go mm-hmm. down. So the thing is, like, the I think the best, like, I think the case they have is that he has had guests on in the past, like, a year or two ago who are, like, bad people who were to the right of, of him. And I think he was arguing with them, but, like, he was doing it in an overly polite way or something. Uh, but beyond the fact that Dave Smith is not a, a Nazi, um, uh, like, trust me on this. He's not a Nazi. I don't, I don't think he's, you know, I, I, um, in fact, I, I, I DM'd him about this after I saw it. I was like, Dave, have you suddenly become a Nazi? And, uh, and he assured me that he had not come around to the view that the people who killed like half of his family in Europe were right. Uh, he, he, he does not believe that. Uh, but, uh, the, the big thing that gets me about this is like, okay, you know, Cards on the table. I kind of like the guy. I disagree with him about tons of stuff. But like, even if you did, right? Even if you just decided that Dave Smith was a piece of shit, like all of the things that you could organize protests around, like like there's only so much time in the day, only so many days in the year. The protest you're going to do is stand-up comedian whose politics I don't like exists and does stand-up. Like, I don't know. I, I, I guess my question for anybody who feels like jumping into this is uh, why is, I know it's not everybody. I know it's not most people, but like there is a segment of the left that's like this. And, and, and why is it like this? And what the fuck is wrong with them? Well, there's a, uh, almost a, a, a book you could read about that very subject, right? <laughs> uh, call it a canceling, uh, comedians uh you know while 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 the word while the world burns um but um sorry jay i feel like jay jay andy's ready to uh type in no i thought i thought the book was called um uh uh, erasing clowns while the dumpster fire uh, fire goes on is that it no yeah get it right no sounds sounds like a retranslation of of like a foreign translation of the book (laughs) Yeah, it's the it's the the foreign poster for the for the book, you know, uh, the the foreign the France oh, edition. My favorite um, uh, news radio episode is when they had the uh, the book translated in Japanese and then translated back into English, and he goes on that book tour. <laughs> so 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 my question is 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 how I haven't been privy to one of these uh, types of protests, right? So how how are these organized, you know? Like if the four of us wanted to, uh, you know, protest a certain stand-up comedian, is it like, is it like a WhatsApp thread or, you know, what is the process by which they're like, hey, this guy's coming to town and we got to make sure that uh, he isn't platform, you know? 
Yeah, possibly. I mean, I, I hope that it's just a WhatsApp thread. It's not like this, like a, you know, it's not like there's a DSA chapter or something that's wasting its time on this. Uh, that would be that would be very um, not good. Uh, but the comedian canceling committee, you know, or to your local <laughs> DSA. Yeah, I would. I would say wrap that. I'm, up. A, I'm a member. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well, you know, fair enough. You felt like you had to volunteer and you know do something. Yes. Yeah, I figured that would be the best uh, committee uh, for me to join. Um, uh, well, I, I, I guess I realized that because, you know, after so long of not being able to effectuate change uh, in a leftward trajectory, I realized that the only uh, agency I could have is, is just canceling those uh, who uh, who disagree with me, right? Or at least that's, that's how... The uh, line of argument that that you were kind of following, right, Ben? That this no, kind I mean, of, I, like, yeah, I mean that is in all seriousness what I think is the cause mm -hmm. of a lot of this stuff. That like it's it's like a twisted mm -hmm. version of the AA thing, you know, like you know, so leave what you can't control, and you know, and uh, and focus on changing what you can't control. It's like giving up on changing the world in any way that matters. And you might as well, uh, you know, you might as well. Um, just try to focus on something that you think that you can change. You know, I, I think a lot of it comes out of powerlessness. Uh, and, and yes, I also agree with uh, what LaRose uh, Rouge et Noir says. Uh, I know my French pronunciation sucks. Uh, comedians aren't powerful. Senators are. I'm, I'm all in favor of, of yelling at Kristen Cinema. Uh, I, I, I'd actually argue that the office of a U.S. Senator exercises more power than the office of a stand-up comedian. But uh, that's my uh, that's my hot take for uh, for the night. Uh, John, you got anything about this before we uh, switch gears? Uh, yeah, then, I mean, there's a reason why half of my memes are just like making fun of the left because of things like this. Uh, I, I've actually had uh, I've been I quote unquote been canceled before. I, I made a joke. Uh, it was two years ago. You know how every Prime Day we have to uh, not order off of Amazon. Um, I made a I made a joke about uh, I, I I don't even remember the meme I made, but it was something with Tony and oh how I'm gonna be uh, like how I'm gonna look uh, oh no it was uh, Tony like sitting in front of the TV with the ice cream right and it's me enjoying my cheap Prime stick on Prime Day <laughs> and, you know and it was it was of course one of those uh, one of those toothless uh, boycotts were going on so a whole bunch of like. I think yeah. a lot of them were Trotskyists from like the IMT that were denouncing me or something. Really, really weird, <laughs> so, weird stuff. Yeah. So, how, well, I'm curious what form that took, you know, because I'm I'm making that my first foray into the uh, public eye uh, as as producer of Ben Show. You know, I'll maybe get like a couple of Twitter followers out of this, and I'm waiting to get uh waiting to get some angry. Is it just angry tweets, or or did, did people go farther? Uh... Yeah. Well. Well, I was way more anonymous back then. Like now, I'm pretty, like you know, if you look not that hard enough, then you can find out who's behind, like my memes and all that. So I was fairly anonymous back then. So they were just announcing my uh, my meme page and not me personally. So uh, you know, it's I guess it's good to have that like that kind of distance. But eventually, I just said, uh, "Fuck it," like. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I really like, by the way, I will say the way that they thread that throughout the show, all of the like Tony eating like big bowls of ice cream seeds. <laughs> like I remember this one where they, the season with his, his cousin, Tony Blundetto, where he's like, uh, like Tony Soprano is, is calling him in the middle of the night to like rant at him and like, and his cousin's just kind of lying there. It's like, uh, okay, okay, Tony. Uh, and uh, and then at the end of whatever he's ranting to him about, you know, Tony's like, yeah, all right, I'm going to get a big bowl of ice cream. And, and, and his cousin's like, okay, uh, you know, you deserve it. You're the boss. And then Tony shoes him out for saying you're the boss over the phone when the feds could be wiretapping him. <laughs>